Yo, what's up? This is an AT launcher download tutorial on how to set it up. Basic bare bones tutorial. We aren't going to be going into depth about the launcher. Also, another disclaimer is that this is for Java edition of Minecraft. If you got mobile or bedrock, this will most likely not work for you. So let's get started. Step one, you're going to want to go to the download page. It'll be in the description below. If you can't find it, there are many sketchy websites. This one is safe. I got it from the launcher itself and so it should be fine. You'll click on the setup, you'll get a download, and you'll go through the setup, which I will click on right here. And this will be the setup, you just go through it, you agree to the things, and you put it where you want to put it. I'm not tutorializing that for you, I'm just exiting out, you should not do that. Either way, it should pull up a T launcher without any difficulties. So what you're going to want to do is first things first, you're going to want to go to accounts and make sure that your username slash email and password is logged into Minecraft. If it's now logged in, AT launcher is going to treat you like you're on a free trial of Minecraft or something along those lines. You have to make sure you're logged in and you're going to have to make sure that this is displaying what uh, account you are on. This is my account and so that's simple enough. Now you're going to want to know how to get the mod packs you want. There are many ways. Uh, I usually use either featured or just packs in general. Packs allows you to go to multiple tabs on where which mod pack you want. So you can play RL Craft using uh, the Technic Launcher tab. You can go to Feed the Beast mod packs. You can go to Curse Forge, which is why I use AT Launcher in general. Either way, you're gonna want to download a specific mod pack. So let's do the tutorial version of I want better for Minecraft Forge 1.16.5. So I would usually click New Instance. However, I have an instance already. Once you download the mod pack essence files you know just the specifics of what makes the mod pack run you click on instances and you go to the specific version it is once you download the instance you can just click play and that should be good little pro tip if it asks you to update once you click on it for example if i clicked on pixelmon it would give me a window here um which says an update is available you want to click no if the specific server you are playing on is not updated yet otherwise you will not be able to play on the specific server because you'll be ahead of the server so now it's going to load up pixelmon because i clicked on it so just be right back another thing you want to keep in mind is a server may be very outdated so you want to click on update if you want a specific version of Minecraft, you can go all the way up and down here and click on the desired version you want. For my own server, it will be version 54 of Better Minecraft Forge Edition because that most of my Twitch viewers will be linked to this video most likely. So that is how you essentially do things. If you are having trouble loading up Minecraft, another thing that may be a, an issue is that you may want to go to the settings on the specific instance it, it's specific for each instance you load up so if you're having trouble on multiple mod packs you may want to also go to the overall settings to where you can dedicate more ram if you can to the mod pack if you cannot then your pc may be not powerful enough so you may not be able to load up the mod packs that you may want so you may need to look into the future to upgrading your computer in some sort of capacity either way this is about all and i hope you all have fun with the at launcher